There are some crazy people that watch YouTube, man. Oh my gosh. If they see a video of yours and they recognize a location, they will broadcast that exact location hoping bad people show up or maybe they show up. It's crazy out there. So no more posting videos in real time. They will be delayed by at least 10 days or so. So here's some video I've had on my phone for a while. I thought we'd just use it up while we talked about this. I guess I was just naive to how mean and nasty people are. See, back in my day, there was no internet. There was no opportunity to people to do mean things from a distance. So no longer will I underestimate how vicious people can be. But it's really a simple solution to this problem. All I got to do is delay the videos. Problem solved. I just got ahead of myself when I would get to a beautiful campsite. I could not wait to grab the camera and get the video of this and post it because I wanted to share it. Well, now it's just going to take a little while longer. I'm also going to take your advice. Many of you have told me do not share the location of these places even after I'm gone because the crowds will come in and ruin it. So what I'll do is if I do share the locations, it'll be in a members only video because I need to do something for my members anyway because they're the ones that deserve it and this way I don't have to run the risk of disclosing it to those jerks that have caused me the problems in the first place. Okay, so here's an example of how someone can find your location. Let's say you make a video and you say, here I am at beautiful Lake Mead, Nevada, and you show a certain landmark or something like that in the video. You know, there's people watching that video that will go straight to satellite maps, and all they've got to do is zoom in on that landmark, and all they've got to do is the simple geography and find out exactly where you are. And if they're really mean, they'll put it in the comments of your video exactly where you are, and then you're going to have to pack up and go. So that's how it happens. Now, you can remove those comments and block, and block those people, but you don't know how many people saw those coordinates before you removed it. That's the problem. So never again will I post a video while I'm at a location. It's going to be delayed until after I'm long gone. Now, here's an example of things I have done before. I didn't think it was so bad. Like places like when I was in Quartzsite, I would say, hey, here I am at La Posta South and I do a video. Well, I said La Posta South. I didn't say the exact place I was in La Posta South because it's a really big place, right? And plus I had people I knew around, so I wasn't so worried about giving out a location. So even stuff like that, you got to look look out for. I was just so naive to the whole thing, really. I mean, back in my day, there was no internet. You couldn't just uh, get on a keyboard and type a bunch of stuff like you're a tough guy to somebody and, and be mean from a distance. You know, back then, if you wanted to be mean to somebody, you had to do it to their face, but you were much less likely to do that because you run the risk of them knocking your teeth down your throat, right? And you want to keep your teeth, so you didn't do that kind of thing. But now it's just too easy, you know, just to, to be a troll. Now, the vast majority of it, that's all it is. You know, they're never going to hurt you. But when people show up at your campsite, unannounced and uninvited, and start setting up camp and have the audacity to scold you that you were way too vague in your video and they had to drive around for an hour to find you, that's when you've got to put the hammer down and say enough of this. Unbelievable. So now I guess I've vented enough and uh, moving forward I will just delay the videos and I will disclose the campsite locations once I leave to members only videos. I think that's a good way to do it. So until next time, take care, be well, and smash the bell.